In this problem, we have a proof uh, about triangle congruence that uses either the angle side angle or the angle angle side. So either way, we're, we're going to have a figure with two angles and a side that are congruent. And uh, the proof is mostly completed. We've just got to fill in uh, a little bit in one of the statements and then three of the reasons. So as with any proof, I think it's best to mark up the diagram so you have a visual representation of all the information that you know, and then to just reason it out in your own head before you start looking at the formal language of the proof. So let's try that. This one says, given PRQ is a right angle, so PRQ, that's this angle, and PRS is a right angle, mm -hmm. okay, and PQR, that's this angle right here, is congruent to PSR. That's this angle here. Okay, so we've got our two angles. Um, for both of these, we also need a side. And at first, it might not look like there's a side here, except that these triangles share a side. So side PR is a side for both of these triangles. And PR is congruent to itself. Uh, so, so that is going to work out. And what we have then is, well, the side is not between the two angles. So it's going to be angle, angle, side. So let's take a look at the proof now. First, uh, they're presenting the given information that PRQ is a right angle and PRS is a right angle. That makes sense. That's what we first marked on the, on the uh, diagram here. Number three says P angle PRQ is congruent to... Uh, and here's what we have to fill in. And they're referring to these two angles we just used. You can see that because they have lines one and two as references here. So we just need to fill in PRS here. This might seem like um, something that's pretty obvious and you wouldn't have to state. But in a geometric proof, we have to state the obvious that we know that these are right angles. Then we have to say explicitly that these right angles are congruent to each other because all right angles are congruent. Okay, so now we've got two sets of, of well, we've got the, the these two angles are being congruent to each other. The next piece of information we have here is that PQR and PSR are congruent. And that is another piece of the given information. So all we have to fill in for the reason here is given. The next step, they've said that segment PR is congruent to segment PR, this, this guy right here. We say that because it's a, a side in both these triangles, and we need to explicitly state that that side is congruent. Um, but you're saying something is congruent or equal to itself. That is the reflexive property. And then finally, we can say that triangle PQR is congruent to triangle PSR. And we had an angle and angle and then a side. So this is going to be angle, angle, side property of triangle congruence. And uh, I don't know if they want us to refer back to the lines. Really, uh, we would refer back to 3 and to 4 and to 5. Those are the, the three parts that give us the angle, the angle, and the side. So I'm just going to put that in here in case they want it. All right, so that is a little bit of work with completing a proof about um, angle, angle, side.